Today's video, I'm going to show you an oldie but a goodie. We're really one of the best bunch setups of all time. And I love doing videos like this where we actually take a timeless passing concept and apply it to this year's game. So we're going to be talking today about Deep Attack. This is out of the Gun Bunch in the West Coast Offensive Playbook. And if you want to get my entire West Coast Offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks by being a member, as well as all of the updates and any new stuff that we release. So it really kind of gets you covered for the whole Madden season. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, the Patreon is really one of the the best places to be able to do that. I believe it's the best bang for your buck. You get the most value for what you put into it. We're going to be talking today about deep attack out of the gun bunch formation. And the setup for this play is this is going to kind of mirror the old Z spot setup out of uh, that was really, really good in Madden. I, I want to say it was men 17. Um, I know for sure Ben 16, but I also want to say it was still present in Madden uh, 17. And this is going to talk, and we're also going to talk about mid-range passing. And what do I mean when I say mid-range passing? I'm going to actually show with my user defender here. But basically, if you think about it, let me just kind of use this zone defense to kind of uh, illustrate. So this would be like the flat. This would be the intermediate flat. And this would be the deep flat. This would, or the deep sideline, right? Over here on the left. This would be the deep sideline on the right, the intermediate flat area of the field. And this would be the hard flat area of the field, right? Now, underneath, in the yellow zone area, you might throw like, like a hitch or a drag or something. This would be what we would call the underneath inter, in the underneath middle area of the field. If we were maybe throwing like a deep uh, post route, that would be like the deep middle of the field. And then where we're actually going to be throwing this post route we're going to be talking about today is what we would call the intermediate middle of the field, which is basically from the numbers to the numbers and is essentially, in my opinion, the best place in the middle uh, or the best place on the field to consistently throw the ball where you're always going to be able to get somebody open. So the way that we're going to set this play up is we're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to drag our tight end, and then we're just going to motion this outside bunch receiver outside, and we're going to let him set his feet. Now, against man-to-man -man coverage, our number one route on this play is this post route, and we're also looking, of course, to the tight end drag. In Madden 24, tight end drag routes are really one of the best routes in the game for consistently being able to attack man-to-man -man coverage because they're able to get, they're able to get uh, really good separation, and with how good the rat catch animations are, they're able to also be able to 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 get big plays for you. So if your user goes underneath to defend this little tight end drag against man coverage, this is where we're going to throw this post route. And the beauty of this play is we actually are clearing out any deep zone by using this slot receiver on a streak, and then it's going to leave this post route underneath for an easy play. Play. Now, let's say they make some adjustments to this and, you know, maybe they uh, use her the tight end. You can also throw this right on the cut right there on the left hand side. As soon as he gets inside separation, that's where you can be able to throw it. Now, what a lot of people will do is they'll actually go from the tight end and then they'll kind of lurk back to the post route. And this is where you want to make sure that you're really giving your tight end a look because a lot of times they'll kind of lurk the tight end back to the post and you can throw this tight end over here on the sideline. Now, another reason why this is significant in terms of their lurk and where they're going to be at as a user defender is because it will also inform us what's going to be open if our main read here is covered. So let's say they do some adjustments like what you're seeing on your screen. That is going to mean this backside in route is going to be really one of the perfect checkdowns because as we clear everything out, this backside in route is just going to come across the middle. And if it's real tight man-to-man -man coverage, go ahead and possession catch it and just live to play another down. Oftentimes what's going to happen though is that that guy is also going to be a nice little man beating route for you. Um, again, most people aren't going to be pressing their man coverage this year. They're going to be uh, you know, either shading over top because it's so easy to throw these streaks uh, for touchdowns, but that in route is a nice little check down and, and just uh, something that you can use. Now, another really popular setup that a lot of people like to do against trips or against a uh, bunch this year is they love to go with these solo uh, wide receiver they love to put him on a middle third basically so or i'm sorry an outside third and that's going to do a good job for defending things like c routes and streaks and the verticals crosser and stuff like that but against this setup it's actually going to leave them very vulnerable because as you can see when he cuts to the inside he is now going to be able to get really nice separation over the middle of the field 
This play is also really, really effective against uh, different types of zone coverage. One of the most popular uh, zone coverages that I would like to call this against would be the double Mabel. Uh, the double Mabel coverage, one of the most popular ways people defend bunch this year. And they probably oftentimes will have maybe like the slot receiver manned up. And then they're going to basically be in the middle of the field with their user. And they're going to have to choose. Are they going to guard the tight end? Or are they going to guard this backside in route? Or are they going to guard the post? The post obviously being the biggest thread on the field. But you'll see here, if they stay underneath on these underneath routes, these post this post route is going to come right into a spot where it basically has to be usered against really any coverage, whether it's cover four, whether it's cover three, whether it's cover two, whether it's Mabel coverage, whether it's drop zone. Um, he's going to cut right over there. It's just a simple pass lead down uh, and to the inside. And as you can see, it's just super. It's just a really, really powerful route for what a lot of people like to do against Gun Bunch. So now let's say, for example, that the user defender is going to go user the post route because that's the most dangerous route and really the best route on the play. Then if they decide, if they make that decision, there's a couple of reads you actually have here. The first one being the slot seam streak. If you see them kind of bail out of the middle of the field, especially with set feet lead this year and gift wrapped, you can throw the slot seam streak. So don't shy away from that. That's always something you want to be at least looking for. Now, let's say, for example, that they, you know, you, you know, you don't want to risk it or whatever. Um, if they, if you don't think it's there, or if they do a really good job covering that slot receiver, Late in the play, you're going to have this backside little in route to be able to check down because your tight end is going to be clearing out the flats and the yellows over on that left-hand side. So deep attack, all in all, guys, is really just one of the best plays in the game because of its ability to be able to uh, really attack the whole field and specifically attack kind of the hot spots that most people really don't uh, think about attacking in their offense. Deep attack is one of the most critical plays, and I think one of the best plays in the in the game for attacking the middle of the field where you'll probably make the most money as a passer. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire uh, Gun Bunch offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon at the link down in the description below.